Very good evening my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. I'm very excited and very happy because today was really outstanding and amazing in the premium group. We were able actually to finish with more than 500 pips of profit delivered to our clients in the premium group i think even more than 600 pips but we just counted the few losses that we have made as you can see euro aud 120 pips uh, euro pound 100 pips pound chf 120 pips pound gpy 120 pips everywhere we are looking we can see green and profit look at that i'm scrolling up and all we can see is only profits against this is very small tiny loss of 17 pips and again here euro pound uh, 50 pips euro AUD 30 pips these are the signals that we have sent today in the premium group today was really outstanding and the best day ever we had so again my friends not every day is going to be profitable like that the market today was really good and easy to read for us and therefore we had these amazing and outstanding results I really hope the rest of the week is going to be very good like this so in the end if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact Angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so let's take a look at the market and what's happening right now with the signals that I have sent on the weekly analysis video as we can see most of the signals has went in the right direction however they haven't actually triggered the buy or sell areas that I have marked except for the USDJPY it has actually triggered the sell area and it's right now going in 30 pips of profit and went in total of 48 pips of profit so let's see what's going on right now actually uh, euro usd as i as i predicted the euro is getting stronger euro is getting stronger and the usd is getting weaker that is the reason why the pound sorry the euro usd right now has started the fall and i believe from looking at the chart of the dxy currency index i can i believe actually that the dollar is going to continue the rise and therefore the euro usd is going to continue the fall that being said we need to understand right now what we can do next with the uh, euro usd since we have actually missed the right entry for the sell now actually what we can look for here we need to mark the strong support and resistance levels. Now, if we look at the daily candles, the bearish uh, reversal pattern has been finished. I mean, this this has completed. So now it's, it's finalized for me that the euro USD is going to continue the fall. Now, the question is where we can actually start the sell order again. So let's just look at the strong support and resistance levels in the chart. And if we mark them perfectly, uh, we can see that we had right here a strong resistance level and it has also become a strong support and right now the market is still ranging as a support right on that level however we can see that finally there is a breakout happening from that strong support that means that we have to wait for some time for this candle to actually make the bearish breakout candle from that support level and then after the retest of the level we can start short the euro usd again exactly at that level of the previous resistance so it's going to keep its position as a resistance again and i believe that's how the euro usd is going to continue the move it's going to fall a little bit more and make the retest and then it's going to continue the fall all the way to the strong support level right here on 1.15645 therefore what we can do right now or let me ju let me just uh, be more more accurate here. Uh, Euro USD is going to continue the fall, most likely until it hit that previous support level, exactly as I said before, like that. So the movement is going to be like this. It's going to continue the fall, hit that support level, and then it's going to reverse to retest the broken support level, and then it's going to continue the fall. So it's kind of hard to give the accurate signal for the euro USD. We have to wait for the right moment to start uh, shorting again, and it might take actually some long time. Therefore, I have to be careful and just send the signal to start short the euro USD at 1.176990. And the safe zone is going to be ranging on the next level of the strong resistance so since we have actually sold based on that resistance right here which has become a previous support level we need to look at the next support or sorry the next uh, strong resistance level let me just see how many pips is that exactly like this 
I'm just looking right here like that so if we look carefully we can see that we had right here a resistance and right here as well and it was also a strong not a strong it was a support right here and here and there that's the reason we have decided that this is going to be the safe zone for the euro USD and it's going to be ranging for almost 58 pips hopefully it's not going to reach uh, the other edge of the safe zone I believe the euro USD is actually going to continue the fall right away um, there is a chance that the, the, the retest is not going to happen however we have to be always careful and as we can see euro USD is always already reversing check that out it has already reached our uh, sell area however it's not really good for the sell right away we need to wait for the retest however if you want to start shorting the euro USD right now you can go ahead but however keep in mind that it's gonna reverse after almost 50 pips and it's gonna again hit the previous support for the retest and regarding the tech profit level I'm gonna select this previous resistance right here as my tech profit level I don't think it's gonna go uh, immediately below that level so we are looking for almost 141 pips hopefully gonna be in profit tech profit for the euro USD is 1.16240 again hopefully it's gonna be a, a, a continue to be a good week and hopefully we will make good profits from this signal let's check the pound USD the pound USD right now is very similar to the pound U to the euro USD as we can see we had right here the strong support level which has finally been breaking out from that support and this is the bearish breakout candle right now the market is reversing on that support level and it's gonna reverse to retest the broken support and that resistance again gonna keep its position as a resistance therefore this is exactly where we can start shorting the pound USD again that being said uh, pound USD is for the short at 1.30150 uh, and the safe zone which I really highly doubt that it's gonna be ever reached uh, let me just select that previous resistance right here S no 77 pips it's, that's a lot let's just mark that previous support level right here I'm looking at that support level and it's gonna be the other edge of my safe zone so we are looking for almost 60 pips I don't th I again don't think it's gonna be ever reached I mean uh, the sell is gonna continue and the fall is gonna resume therefore I believe the pair is gonna continue the fall right away however that's gonna be our take profit level right here on the previous support and yes I should have turned off steam these guys annoying me <laughs> and let's go to the take profit level it's gonna be 1.28590 so we are looking for a profit of almost 154 of pips hopefully gonna be very good signal for everyone let's check the AUD USD now I really don't know if I'm allowed to take any credit for that uh, I have sent the signal to short the AUD USD as 0.73177 but as you can see the pair has almost kissed its, uh, this entry level and then reversed I really don't know if I'm allowed to take the credit for that however it has <coughs> it has reversed for almost 117 pips and if you have taken this signal then I'm really happy for you however let's see what's gonna happen next uh, this, the bearish momentum is actually very strong and as we can see if we look at the daily candles it's very clear for me that this bearish momentum has completed the pattern and the pair is gonna also continue the fall at least to hit the previous support level on 0 0.71320 the structure hasn't been completed yet it's uh, still ranging on it as we can see on the daily candles what we can notice right here is we had this previous resistance that previous resistance is right now becoming a previous uh, sorry becoming a new support and I believe the pair is gonna continue the reverse until it hit the strong resistance level right here and then gonna continue the fall so for the AUD USD what we can do actually is we can start again shorting the AUD USD right here exactly right here at the strong resistance uh, resistance level so AUD USD is for the short on 0 0.72407 and the safe zone is going to be ranging exactly at our uh, previous entry point so we're talking about 50 pips uh, as the safe zone for the AUD USD just like that 
and for the take profit level it's gonna be exactly as I said right here on that previous support level so we are looking hopefully for almost 161 pips hopefully gonna be in good profit so this is the take profit level on 0 0.70795 Again, hopefully it's going to be continue to be a good week and we will make good profits out of this signal. Let's look at the USD CAD. Of course, this is not from the USD CAD. This is from the uh, this signal right here, the sell on 1.30150. I believe that's from the pound USD. Indeed, yes, it is from the pound USD. Therefore, allow me please to delete it and get rid of it. <coughs> Now, as we can see, there the fall, the, sorry, the rise of the USD CAD is quite um, remarkable, and therefore, I believe, as I said, the USD is going to continue the rise. So we just need to buy at the exact right moment. From my point of view, the right moment is going to be when the the, the pattern or the or the currency or the pair is going to uh, finish the reversal from that resistance zone and is going to continue the fall until it hit that previous support level, which was also previously a resistance and then from that point the pair is going to continue the rise until it hit the resistance on 1.3865 that being said USD CAD is good for the buy at 1.31910 and the safe zone is going to be ranging from our entry point on the previous resistance until the previous resistance which is right here so we are looking for 53 pips going to be ranging in the safe zone exactly like that and the tech profit level is gonna be marked on that previous strong support key support level which has become also a key resistance in the uh, recent time therefore we are looking for almost 159 pips hopefully gonna be very good profits for everyone who's gonna enter this signal 3465 that's uh, the signal for the USD CAD hopefully it's also gonna be good signal uh, regarding now USD JPY now the USD GPY uh, is going in profit. However, let me just uh, tell you what I'm expecting. Uh, what we can see right here is we had a strong key support level and it was also a support right here and the pair is actually ranging or reversing right on that support. So what you can expect right now from the USD GPY, uh, if you have the thread uh, running already, please keep it on because the pair is gonna continue the fall. However, please be aware that the pair actually might reverse until it hit that strong, not uh, that previous uh, resistance level or previous support right here and the previous resistance right here and here on 106.128. The pair actually might rise a little bit more up just to hit that level of the previous support and then it's gonna continue the fall. Therefore, please keep your USDC, uh, sorry, USD GPY signal running. It's going well in profit and uh, you don't have to do anything about it. About USDCHF, USDCHF has also went in the right direction. However, it didn't really fall to make the support number two and therefore our signal hasn't been triggered. So now what's going to happen next with the USDCHF? As we can see, USDCHF is right now reversing on that resistance on 0 0.91849. Therefore, I believe the pair is going to reverse right now and it's going to hit the previous support level right here to create the support number two because right here also we can see that we had support number one and therefore from that point the pair is going to be good for the buy again hold on I just need to be sure no no it's not right it's going to be good for the buy exactly just a moment my friends I'm just being sure I'm just being sure Yes, exactly from here. That's going to be perf perfect level to start buying again the USDCHF after 30 pips of fall. And then we can start, or sorry, and then after the buy, we can keep the signal running. Let me just uh, tell you that, that we can buy on 0 0.91492 for the USDCHF. And let me, uh, allow me please, to mark the safe zone for our entry. Um, yeah that's really safe so that's going to be ranging for almost 55 pips because we are going to place the buy order on the previous resistance level when that resistance is going to become the new support however the reason i'm selecting the range here of the safe zone is because we're having this strong key support level so we can give a, a play or a space for the candles or the market to breathe to go down for um 
testing the previous support level and then gonna continue the rise however i really highly doubt uh, that this is gonna happen because the us dollar itself is gaining a lot of strength right now and therefore we can expect the pair to reverse only on that support level and then continue the rise right away i don't really think at all usdchf is ever gonna reach the safe zone so that being said let me just uh, oh right let me just mark for you the safe zone so it's gonna be exactly like that and for the tech profit level it's gonna be yes exactly right here on the previous resistance so we're, we're looking for almost 108 pips of profit take profit level for the USCCHF 0 0.92600 so again hopefully it's gonna be a really good signal and we will make some good profits out of it now let's move to the gold the gold is still ranging right on that previous support right here now of course I, I actually have said that many times if we check the pattern of the gold we can see that the, his, the, the, the history is repeating itself let's look at that together what we can see right here is we have a strong bearish breakout and then consolidation happen before the price explosion happens and the price breakout from the level look at what happened next exactly the same thing we have the bearish breakout the bearish uh, breakout candle and again the pair is actually ranging exactly on that previous uh, channel and again look at that this is interesting this is the channel that the pair is inside it and we can see finally here it's like that the price explosion has already happened and the pair has actually uh, made what we call the price explosion ex explosion meaning it has actually made the strong bullish breakout from the channel so what's gonna happen next is that the gold is finally gonna continue the rise until it hit our entry point of uh, the sell which I have sent in the last video on the weekly analysis I said that the gold is gonna be good for the short on 1949.75 so I believe this is gonna happen exactly since the history repeating itself and it's gonna reach our entry point sooner or later and then we can start again shorting the gold however I have said that like two weeks ago I'm expecting from the gold to be ranging for a long time before we can see a clear mo a movement on the gold the reason is as I said the the strong rise of the gold to reach 2075 was only because of the weakness of the US dollar because of the so many positive cases of the COVID-19 in the United States and their not uh, or their lack of ability to actually fight the virus but however that has changed thankfully and I think very soon by uh, the end of October hopefully Mr. Trump has promised to provide the vaccine for the, the whole st uh, states in the in the United States and have uh, uh, therefore the prices of the gold right now is ranging there is a huge battle happening between the bulls and the bears and therefore we can see that the gold has been ranging and stuck in this channel for quite a long time until some news that actually can affect the US dollar gonna rock the market or actually gonna decide if the gold is gonna continue the fall or the rise however from technical view uh, so far it is gonna be good for the short and we have to pick the right level to short it exactly as where I have mentioned the signal oh, sorry in the last uh, uh, weekly video on my signals so there goes your uh, signals for this midweek analysis video I really hope it's gonna be a very good week ahead and I believe it's gonna be exactly or indeed it's gonna be a good week because so far it is and we're making good profits I hope by today or tomorrow I'm gonna make another new live trading video I'm interested to make some uh, scalping on the gold and I'm gonna share it with you so in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching